Hello there people of the internet, it is your boy Spoke to the Plug here, back with another video today. I'm coming at you guys with a very special video, a video I plan on doing for a while. But um, if you guys haven't noticed, the, the core like theme of my channel is trying to be sort of revolved around Naughty Dog games and, and what kind of, and just Naughty Dog in general. Uh, I know I'm playing other games at the moment, other walkthroughs and stuff, but as you can tell with videos like this and videos in the past, um, like you can tell my Uncharted 1, 2, 3 walkthrough and my Uncharted 4 walkthrough as well, and I'm currently doing The Last of Us walkthrough that, um, I'm trying to make it like Naughty Dog theme and stuff like that, but that's besides the point. Um, this video, however, is a video I didn't see too much on YouTube about. It is about um, why Uncharted makes sense, or more specifically, why Nathan Drake's story makes sense. If you guys have played or watched the entire Uncharted series, uh, Uncharted Drake's Fortune, Uncharted Among Thieves, Uncharted Drake's Deception, and as well as Uncharted A Thieves' End, then you would know that Nathan in the first three games was... Uh, no matter what, just hell-bent on finding um, uh, the treasure or whatever he was after in that particular game. Whether it be a lost city or a treasure or whatever it was, he was just hell-bent. And he was literally upset, uh, up, just, just um, I guess you could say, yeah, kind of obsessed with it. And, you know, he have a lot of people just, you know, kind of concerned about Nathan, uh, ranging from Chloe and Elena and, and, and even Sully at times. Just, they just kind of worry about Nathan. And um, uh, what really struck me is I, I was recording some Uncharted 1, 2, and 3, and it just hit me how um, Nathan is in a different state in his life. Like, he, he, he has, he's gotten older, um, as well as every other character, but most definitely Nathan, because he doesn't really think too much about, um, like, adventuring anymore, you know? And I have a really cool scene here um, that backs me up on this statement, as well as some other scenes from gameplay that will kind of wrap my, um, that will kind of wrap my, you know, thoughts, you know, like, just kind of, just so you guys have a better understanding. Now, what I'm about to show you is a clip from a PSX event that took place, I believe, in 2015, um, around the time, uh, Uncharted 4 was about to be released. Um, and this is voice actor for Sam Troy Baker. Um, explaining the interest, uh, explaining the dynamic on how um, Nathan Drake is older, but um, Sam has never moved on in his life, and you know he's kind of become the younger uh, of the bunch because he's still kind of facing that same obsession that Nathan was facing. So after the following video I'm about to show you, you're going to see some clips from some gameplay that show that shows how people um, from the Uncharted games were. Um, concerned about Nathan in a way and what he was doing and then you're going to see later how um, Nathan is feeling those same things towards Sam so I'm just gonna shut up and, and, and just show you guys now and for me with Sam and, and Nathan it's very much of a, a, a situation where someone has never moved past a certain point in his life and the younger has become the elder and the elder has become the younger and so is this really cool dynamic for Nolan and I to play with where you doing all right Oh, fabulous. Yeah. That was too close. You'll be okay. No, I mean the whole thing. It just isn't worth it, Nate. Let this one go. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't just give up. If you let these bastards win. After this, I will never bloody forgive you. Don't you worry, Charlie. There's no way I'm letting them win. What is it with you? What are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. I see you're still wearing yours. What? Oh, oh, yeah. That's what this is all about, isn't it? You don't understand. I finally proved it. Drake lied about his route through the East Indies. 400 years ago, he came here. Why, Nate? That's what we're here to find out. No, I mean, why this obsession? I'm, I'm just worried. I can take care of myself, all right? I nearly shot your head off. Sam, oh, you're okay. Yeah, nothing I can't walk away from. It's good to see you alive, little brother. Come on, we got a treasure to find. Hold up, man, I mean, what are we doing? What do you mean? I mean, our supplies are at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Okay, so we go steal some from Nadine's army. Yeah, and there's that. We're going up against an army. 
We've been holding our own so far. While being marooned in the middle of nowhere. We were trying to get here, remember? When we had an escape plan. Just hear me out. Crazy suggestion. Let's go down there and at least secure one of Rafe's boats. The boats can wait. <laughs> you want to know what we're doing here? We are buying my life back. Okay, and we're going to do that by stepping into that jungle and finding the Britalia. You even seen any signs of a massive pirate colony? Because I sure the hell haven't. It's a little late to start developing doubts, don't you think? Look, can we at least acknowledge the chance that maybe Avery's idea for a secret pirate utopia didn't pan out? <laughs> and maybe we're just swept up in this fantasy when instead we should be looking for a real way to save you. I'm gonna scour this island inch by inch if I have to until I find that treasure. Now, if you're confused about what you're doing here, then you can go home, Nathan. Wait, wait, wait. I can go home? Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea what I put on the line to get you here? About what I put on the line, okay? The last 15 years of my this life. This has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with that. Which way? On the beach, other side of this town. Okay. Good, I hope all that ruckus didn't attract any attention. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. What are we doing? What do you think we're doing? We're getting the hell off of this rock. Right, we, we, we could do that. Or we could head in that direction, which is a shortcut. Shortcut to what? To Avery's treasure. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, Rafe's got to go all the way around, but we can hey, just... screw Rafe. Just... Hey, Victor, with all due respect, maybe just... You just this... don't know when to quit. Look, we're all here for the same reason, right? Right? We didn't come after the treasure. We came after you. And I appreciate that. I, I, I do. But we're good. A and we've got the lead for now. <laughs> we can do this. Nathan, come on. Huh? Look around. Okay? Avery scuttled every last ship on this island. You know why? Because he was hell bent on keeping his treasure. Exactly. <laughs> no matter the cost to the others around him. Because he didn't want anyone to follow him. Because he was leaving. Look at this. Okay. I found his map of the island. Okay? That's his ship right under that mountain. That's where our treasure is. And it is exactly where Rafe is headed right now while we stand around here and argue like idiots. What if he's already left the island and his ship sunk somewhere out there in the middle of the ocean? Then we find out where it got sunk. Oh. How long we've been chasing this thing, huh? You and me. No offense to these guys. But they don't get it. Actually, Sam, they do. Really do. Okay. And trust me, they've seen this kind of obsession before. <sighs> Sam. We're not those kids anymore. We're not. And we got nothing to prove. So just from those clips, do you guys kind of see what I'm talking about? Where um, in the beginning Nathan sort of had this, you know, this, this, you know, just this obsession, this, you know, just hell bent on finding, you know, the treasure, whatever he was after. And now, um, of course, everybody's older and everybody's in a different place in their life. So now Nathan did not as obsessed as he was before and said it's Sam who's supposed to be the older brother you know just kind of you know being like no no we need to find it you know we can't you know we can't rest without it and you know like they've seen you know that obsession before and it's just a really cool like okay. just, and just like the clip I showed you where Troy Baker it was just a really cool dynamic for you know just Troy Baker and Nolan North to play with and speaking of Nolan North I actually have one more clip from the same PSX event where um, Nolan North talks about the same thing, but he elaborates on it a little bit more. Um, the clip is a bit lengthy than the last one, not too lengthy, but uh, please sit down and enjoy while um, you listen to Nolan North explain um, why he elaborates on what this whole video is about. I, I think that's one of the most interesting things about this franchise is that characters like Nate, Elena, Sully, that they've been able to 
age with their audience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's rare. I mean, yeah. you know, uh, and and I think I think that's something that helps them helps everybody kind of. Uh, um, it makes them real. Makes them real, but it also it helps everybody kind of get on board with them and, and their struggles. It, because everybody knows, it, it, no matter whether you're 18 and you turn 25, or in this case, 28, 10 years, it, you know, there's different um, challenges you face. And there's, uh, not, not just physically, but I mean emotionally and, and uh, intellectually you face. And I think that's what's great about it, that Sully's at a different place as he was from the first one. So it was Nate, Elena, and everybody. And now you have the new characters come in and, and they have their whole histories. And I think that's one of the things that helps everybody um, I think the word I was looking for is identify mm. uh, with uh, Nathan Drake and, and, and Sullivan and, and Elena and everybody. It's, is that we've all aged with them. We've grown up with them. And it, it, there's something about that experience that makes it just a little more real to us uh, rather than just. All right, guys, well, we've reached the end of the video. If you made it this far, I just want to say I appreciate you so much. Please leave a like on the video and comment. Um, what do you think about, you know, the whole obsession thing with the Uncharted series? Because I love it so much. And um, for, for real, guys, make sure you leave a big like on the video and subscribe if you're new. And, let, and please let me know how you feel about this video. I'm planning on doing more like it. But if you don't, let me know. But I love you guys. I'm going to see you all later. Holla at me. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.